One, two, three, fuck it. Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Formula here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this awesome 2D header that I've made for myself. I've made it as a personal reband, and I'm using it currently. So, first of all, you guys want to get the color that you guys want, and a secondary color as well. So, my two colors are like a light red and a light yellowish yellow basically so we're gonna use that oops wrong color and here's the color code for this one if you guys want to use it but i will also leave a secret download to this psd right here and it'll be unlocked at a certain amount of likes so first you want to create oops so we need to make put this on the bg so there and we want to create a new layer then we want to create the shadow so we want to create this little wave shadow here so we'll do that now and i'm pressing ctrl z to fix this guys just in case you guys don't know that yet so just want to do that and make selection on the new layer and then press M or click this tool over here and press fill color and we press on this one so like that and then you just choose like a darker color of it so that should work I'm pretty sure so I think this is a little too dark so we could easily fix that by doing this and then going a little darker or a little lighter so there you go and we could name this one BG Shadow could create a clipping mask for that one so after you do that uh, we'll create the lighting so this will always be on top of the designs so let's do that so I'll name this BG Lighting and we'll make this a bit bigger I'm pressing alt and right click Let's see if you guys don't know that so I'll do that and do that so that should look good and I think I could just change the opacity here to around 50 there we go I think that's good and now I'll start by creating these shapes right here on the side so first we want to make use the tool over here and we'll just create a some rectangle a really long rectangle and we'll use the color to put that to the side but there we go and something like that i think that's a good size so let's press ctrl t and then shift and then you just use your mouse to rotate it so i think to the offset like that maybe yep <coughs> sorry about that guys i'm sick so something like that i think yeah i think that would work all right so we want to do this and i think that's a pretty good size for it all right yep then we want to press alt and bring this down here so that way we have a duplicate of that one and that will look like this so once you do that we want to create the little shading over here that we have made so let's do that for the on the left stripe so we'll do this doesn't have to be like perfect it could be at random really I don't want to make it too curvy though so yeah that's good alright so just want to do same thing make selection and we'll fill it in with a darker color like that I think that'll work so oops, let's 
put this on a different layer. And then we can do that. <coughs> Alright, so great clipping mask. And it should look like that now. Then we could do the same thing over here to the top one. So we'll just make a another copy, create clipping mask, and we'll set it like this, I think. I think that would work. Yep. So it looks like that so far. We want to keep the background lighting on the top still. Make sure it's still in front. And now we could start by creating, well I want to get this logo first, so I'm just going to bring this logo over here. Um, here we go. And let me set some margins here, so it would be 7.500, and then we would drag it to right here. Then right here, and we should be good. So there we go once we have that and i've created a shadow for the inside of my logo i'm not too sure how your logo would look like but i've created a color shadow right here you can see that and it's the same color as these two so that's what i've done for that and for the text here you could put anything you want and i've used a rectangle for that so I'll just simply drag over the text from here to put it under here. But I will create the rectangle with you guys just in case you guys would like to learn. And I did use left alignment to do this, but you could also create it as two different layers. So once we do that, we want to create this circle fade over here, this layer right here that I have done. And so you guys want to get a circle tool, elliptical tool basically, and you want to create one big shape, and once you do that, you do a fill, and let's create that, and once we do that, we will have it down here, I think, yep, alright, so, I think this is a good size for it, yeah. Maybe a little smaller, but either way it would be good. And then you want to just choose Alt, drag it, shrink it, and then we'll do that, then Alt, and then make it a little smaller. Use this one as a reference. And I'm using the arrow keys to adjust it little by little or by pixel and then we'll make this one the smallest <coughs> so once you have that I think this is good enough maybe if I do this and then I'll rotate it so just like this and I just press on this one and then the top one with shift and I just convert to smart object It'll make it one hole, and I could just simply do this. Let's try to do that. Okay. There you go, and I'll create something like that. Then, we want to get our eraser tool. E on the keyboard. And you can just do this. Simple as that. Maybe a little smaller, and to the side. Mm, yeah, that's good. Then we can put it at 70. And it'll look like something like this, basically. There we go. Looks nice. We'll name it Circle Fade. And I'll name this one uh, Left Stripe Shadow. Left Stripe and right stripe shadow, right stripe shadow, right stripe. And you want to do that so that way you guys could recognize your layers and what they are 
later when you adjust or try to fix something. So next up we'll do the rectangles here. These are actually squares that I've just rotated to a diamond and showed only half of it. So we would want to do this and maybe a little bigger. And yep, yeah, that's good size. So we'll fill it with the color once again and we'll do rotate it and once we rotate it we just set it down right there and it'll look something like that and you could make maybe a little smaller all right so once you do that you will also want to create the shadowing that it has there i think i also put a lighting let me check real quick uh, no, I did not put a lighting on that one. It's just the lighting from the background. So, uh, where's the lighting? Here's this lighting. Okay, there. So that's why it looks like that. And we'll just put. I think I need to lower the lighting a bit. Probably 25. So 25. Oops, not 2500. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. So we could just do this and create clipping mask and grab our pencil here and that should look good right there. Same thing, fill it in, color, I'll we'll use that color, there you go, and it looks something like that, probably maybe a little bit bigger. There we go, and that looks nice. So, for the one that's outlined, the rectangle, or the square, or whatever, we want to just make a smaller version of it, and we want to maybe a bit bigger. And we want to create another layer, so we want to do this one right here, layer, and we'll fill it in, well not fill, sorry about that, stroke, and 5 pixels I think, let me check, and yeah, uh, we'll do 10 I think, would look best, so 10, and same color, and that looks good, alright, so once we got our layer, just want to rotate it once again, make it half, show half at least, and overlap it on this one. Then we want to put it under, so it would look like it shadowed over, and we'll put a shadow clipping mask on this one, so let me... Find that one. There we go. And I think it looks. Yeah, that looks. That's best. Alright. So maybe a bit darker so that way you could see it. There we go. Alright. For that one, that should be good. And I think that looks nice. And we'll create another light for this one right here so you can see it more brighter and I think that looks good right there so for the plus I just used a font for that one so I, yeah, let me see yes I used nexa bold so that's what I used and I'm going to shape it down mm. I think I used. Oh no, it's just because it's a bit too big, so you could keep on using it. So just size it down a bit. There you go. Now it doesn't look as big. How do you like that? Yep, there we go. Alright, so you want it. This was where your primary and secondary color comes in to use. And we just wanted to press Alt right there. And 
I want to adjust this so then you want to size this down a bit yeah maybe size it down a bit and do this one a little more there we go and that should look good really does and whoa just make a there we go make that the primary color and so far it's looking good and you want to put a clipping mask on these so for this one we'll do the clipping mask so what I've done was just simply make the shadow once again but it just looks a bit smaller Alright, so it looks still has a shadow, just a bit smaller. And I find that it really does make a difference to me, but it doesn't matter. More detail it looks better. So something wrapped up real quick. And this one I think I went lighter. So that way it looks you could actually see the shadowing. There you go. Alright. So once you have that, you could just create the last step basically, which is the slanted rectangle that's going across the left hand side. So what I've done was same thing, same concept, and I just created a new layer. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger and fill color and there we go and you could always adjust the lighting of this uh, like how it is and the contrast of it because right now it does look a bit darker when before i pressed ctrl y because when you press ctrl y it just makes the contrast a bit better and shows the color is a bit more vivid so it does that and just want to do it like that and then I'll create the shadow of it and we should be good to go besides the rectangle right here I need to create so let's do this yeah there we go that should be good and here we go. And there you go. I think that's the same color, so let's adjust that. We could also do this method that I just did, was just make it black and lower the opacity. It does the same effect as the rest. So there we go. And let's just create the rectangle here and I make it slightly bigger and we should be good like that so that's how you guys would create this little 2d header it looks really clean with a shadowing of course so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video peace